Hi guys, it's Molly. Let's see who this is for. I do have a song. I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, let's go. Alright. Caught between the faulty stars, the plotted lines, the faulty maps that brought Columbus to New York. Betwixt between the east and west, he calls on her wearing a leather vest. The earth squeals and shudders to a halt. A diamond crucifix in his ears used to help ward off the fear that he has left his soul in someone's rented car. Inside his pants he hides the mop to clean the mess that he has dropped into the life of lifesome Juliet Bell. And Romeo wanted Juliet. And Juliet wanted Romeo. And Romeo wanted Juliet. And Juliet wanted Romeo. Romeo Rodriguez squares his shoulders and curses Jesus runs a comb through his black ponytail. You're thinking of this? Okay, now it's fading out. That's Lou Reed, New York. Romeo had Juliet. New York has New York. New York. I'll take Manhattan in a garbage bag with Latin in, written on it that says it's hard to give a shit these days. Manhattan sinking like a rock until the filthy Hudson, what a shock. They wrote a book about it and said it was like ancient Rome. Ooh. The perfume burned his eyes, holding tightly to her thighs. And something flickered for a minute. And then it vanished and was gone. Okay, Romeo and Juliet, the modern version, New York, New York, New York. Romeo made a mistake in New York. Whoa, what? Okay. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. And her voice was like a bell. Wild, wild horses, could they drag me away? Wild, wild horses, okay, final message, could it drag me called Romeo Had Juliet and that is from Lou Reed, New York. Something about New York is um, ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, um, but it's not New York. Juliet isn't in New York. Okay. Oh. 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 Hmm. Somebody might be breaking up with somebody to find their true Juliet. Could have been a lusty kind of one night stand thing that turned into something they didn't really want. Could be a Scorpio, or a Scorpio could be involved. They want to go toward, toward uh, the spiritual life now, and that was not in New York. Okay. Okay, so um, this is a weird reading, Aries. Okay. All right, there's somebody who wants to go on an adventure with the high priestess. 
they're super in love with this person and they want to rush forward to them because they do see it um, victory. They really want to work together because they see this person as their Ten of Cups. Oh, why did I say Cups? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. They might really love this person, but they don't really know. This person is a hard worker. They're uh, abundant. Okay. All right, so here's the King of Pentacles showing up. This is somebody who's showing up in Big Daddy Buffalo energy. They have made up their mind. They're ready to have um, a serious discussion that... Um, that uh, they've been up all night thinking about, um, they're ready to uh, talk about some truths, possibly cut somebody out, to have a solid new beginning. They want a solid new beginning full of truths with the right Juliet, okay. Juliet has been watching, uh, um, what is this? What is this? Uh, Juliet has been like waiting for a long time and watching. She doesn't know. She doesn't know the secret. Okay. Um. Somebody is rushing forward. They might be sending a text message to a player type person to say, I'm done with that. I don't want it anymore. My heart chakra has been opened. And I want to be with my star, with my real Juliet. Okay. And her voice was like a bell. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do let's clarify with the um, Star MS Gallery Grand Deck. My eyes kept going towards that. Aries, 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 Aries. Somebody may be having a spiritual awakening. Um, this is a slow. Um, moving relationship that for Romeo and Juliet that has been brought on by the divine there may have been some delay interference with New York okay Romeo wanted Juliet and Juliet wanted Romeo okay let's hear about um let's hear about this ten of swords what's this all about what is ending Ten of Swords, heart chakra is open now. Heart chakra is open. Okay, something is ending, so a surprise can happen, a resurrection can happen, endurance, hope, change, kiss, and surprises. Somebody's uh, ended something, uh, and now their heart chakra is open. Uh, whatever was ended was with like the wrong person, and now their heart chakra is open so they can come to Juliet. All right. What's up with this Knight of Wands? What's this all about? Knight of Wands for Aries. Knight of Wands is player energy. What is that all about? Okay. Noise, interference, background, blocking, resistance. Okay, so this might be some, and then this felt too. Um, this might be, okay, so, um, and then out with that, Kim Fish, uh, Rebirth, Good Luck, Transformation. So, uh, I think, and Romeo wanted Juliet. Okay, so I think what's happening is somebody might be with, the, like, with a karmic type wrong person, or they might have been, and they want to drop the karmic to get with their Juliet, with their real love. Um, the karmic may have been a lusty, sexy thing that happened, but it was interference, background blocking and resistance towards, um, the rebirth, the transformation of Romeo, okay, and only Juliet can help Romeo, okay. Uh, I'll put that song in the comments, Aries, it's important that you listen to it, it's part, you know, you might get messages from the song too. All right, 
What about this? Um, what's up with this Queen of Swords? What's going on with the Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Okay, out with the Queen of Swords came um, religion, which is also spirituality for me. Mother's love. Unicorn. And the cosmic elephant. So I actually think that uh, the Queen of Swords is an honest discussion about um, somebody wants to talk about spirituality. Um, they may see this person as a warm motherly figure. Um, but this is a very serious discussion. Somebody, the cosmic elephant came into somebody's life and shook it up. Um, they it might have brought in a unicorn. A unicorn is a fun and exciting person that kind of like jumps into your energy field and changes everything around for the better. Um, somebody may see this person as a motherly type figure. Uh, there might be kids involved. Okay. Could be a Libra. That's the card of Queen of Swords. Okay. Doesn't have to be. Honest discussion. Okay. Let's hear about this Ace of Pentacles, this solid new beginning. I need to show them. Okay, author and vessel. Somebody uh, might be sending a message, a well thought out message. Um, and a vessel is a person that can take um, sadness and transmute it into positivity uh, without going bonkers or anything like that's their purpose. They can transmute energy. Um, they might, uh, somebody might want to be talking about some sadness and, and, or something like that. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles for Aries. This solid new beginning. Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Somebody might want to have it with somebody who's psychic, intuitive, a seer, somebody who is healer, healing and cleansing, uh, how, can help purify and renew this person. Uh, it's new beginnings and truth. Um, this is, um, you know, the, the seer, the indigo child, the person with the spiritual gifts. Somebody wants to have a new beginning with that? Okay. Hear about this King of Pentacles? What does he have to tell us? Big Daddy, Buffalo energy. This is provider energy. This is this is this Buffalo. This is uh, King of Pentacles with Aries. King of Pentacles with Aries. Okay, this King of Pentacles uh, wants to be with this bleeding heart, this empath, empath, sympathizer, help, light worker, healer, friend, and confidant. All right. What is this super anxiety about, this Nine of Swords? The wish card just jumped out. Um, and this is just it, a wish, making a wish. Um, somebody really wants this to happen. Okay, what is this Seven of Swords about? This kind of sneakiness. What's all that about? Seven of Swords. Oh. Okay, this card bent, and this card fell down into my lap. So the card that bent is Solitude. So this is seclusion, remoteness. Uh, it could be some depression, something along that line. And with that came discussion. So this is a conversation, uh, scrutiny, maybe even a controversy, um, talking about something serious. All right, and finally, let's hear about the star. What's up with the star? Okay, so when I picked up the deck, this stayed, uh, stayed down on, on the table. It's trust. So this is trust, confidence, hope, affirm, recognize, and high hopes. Okay, final message for Aries. Oh, 
Okay. All right, Aries. Okay, somebody might be feeling scared right now. They may be going through an awakening. Um, they might be curious about what's happening to them. Um, but they do know that the white wolf is with them and a reward is coming about this. Awakening, the white wolf is um, protection, trust, honest, rare. This could be the empath. This could be the em this could be Juliet, and this could be Romeo. Um, okay. And then the only other card that dropped was the cosmic snail again. I, that fell right on the Queen of Swords. Okay, so let's overview. I'll take Manhattan a garbage bag with Latin written on it that says it's hard to give a shit these days. Manhattan sinking like a rock into the filthy Hudson, what a shock. They wrote a book about it and said it was like ancient Rome. The perfume burned his eyes, holding tightly to her thighs. And something flickered for a minute. And then it vanished and was gone. Okay, somebody wants to end something. There's an end of something and a beginning of something else. They're making a judgment call on it. And there may be a reconciliation coming into play. We do have the King of Pentacles energy showing up with the Bleeding Heart. I think this is Romeo and Juliet. Uh, Romeo is Big Daddy Buffalo energy. He's showing up as uh, Big Daddy. He wants to be a provider, stable. Um, he wants to take care of his bleeding heart, his empath, his sympathizer, his light worker, and his friend and his confidant. Uh, there is some anxiety about about a wish. Uh, somebody is really wishing about something and it is causing some anxiety, some sleepless nights. There might be some plotting, some thinking, some wanting some stuff to happen it, and it happens at night. They may be thinking about this Queen of Swords character. The Queen of Swords is um, an honest and fair, just person. They will listen to the truth, um, but they don't take any bullshit. Uh, the Queen of Swords, she carries her sword. If she, you're not serving her highest good or you're you know, doing fuckery with her, she will cut you out. And Romeo knows this. Um, this is a relationship that has been happening for quite a while. Um, slow moving information or changes that are destined is upon us right now. Well, this relationship is also something that is brought on the, by the divine. It's a big shakeup for um, both people, both people's lives brought on by the divine. Somebody's showing up. Okay, there is a, a huge factor of uh, religion or spirituality um, coming into play here. Somebody is seen as a unicorn. I think this is probably Juliet. Uh, a very magical, fun, exciting person who just is unlike anything they've ever seen before. This person may feel warm and comfortable. They may feel like a mother. They may be a mother. There could be some kids involved. And somebody wants to have a solid new beginning after this, this, um, this discussion has been had. With, it, with somebody who may be, um, who, have, who, who is, um, an indigo child, somebody who is a psychic, somebody who has intuition, somebody who has spiritual gifts, somebody not like everybody else. This is somebody who um, has premonition, is a knowing person. They are also very reasonable. Um, this person, uh, okay, so we have the indigo child showing up over here, and then over here is the swamp frog, and the swamp frog is cleansing, rebirth, Purifying, renewal, new beginnings and truth. So somebody wants a new beginning with an indigo child. The frog wants the new beginning with the indigo child. Okay, so this is the masculine and this is the feminine. 
Somebody's been watching somebody for quite a long time. Gathering information. There is some uh, fast incoming, um, I see this as like text messages. There's something fast and incoming energy that's like back and forth, incoming fast messages. It also could be like this, like swift decision. Uh, I got the wild horses can, uh, cannot drag me away. So um, there is something that happened that's um, some kind of player-ish energy. We have the player showing up here, the Knight of Wands. So this is kind of like in and out player energy. And with that was noise and that's interference, background blocking, resistance, struggle. So somebody may have um, wanted to be kind of a player or date around or something like that and they were resisting the connection. But now they want good luck, rebirth, transformation. There was some kind of secretive aspect to this. And somebody is in solitude, seclusion, and remoteness. And there may be a discussion or a converse, conversation about something. This person might be. Uh, this person might be thinking about what to say, what the discussion should be. There was an ending to something. Uh, somebody ended something. It wasn't serving their highest purpose. Um, and they could have been, um, there could have been some like sort of karmic thing going on, uh, to learn a lesson. So, uh, from, from the universe. So, um, somebody could have done somebody wrong and then somebody else did that person wrong. And now that person knows that they did the first person wrong, how it felt like stabbed through the heart, but getting stabbed through the heart also, Activated the heart chakra for this, for Juliet. Um, and then with that came hidden butterfly. This is resurrection, endurance, change, hope, life, kiss, and surprise. And then finally we have the star. The star is a really healing person. This is Juliet. I'm sure this is Juliet. This is the indigo child. This is the bleeding heart, the empath. So the star is showing up here with trust, confidence, expectation, hope, affirm, recognize, and high hopes. All right, Aries, there's your reading for today. Let's we close it up. Let's close it up with the universe has your back oracle. What does the universe want Romeo and Juliet? to know about this. What is the message for Romeo? Romeo, Romeo, Aries. I choose love no matter what. Okay, what's the message for Juliet? Juliet, Aries, Juliet. That's a bad shuffle. Juliet, Juliet, Aries, Aries. Romeo chooses love no matter what. What does Juliet choose? Juliet, Juliet. Juliet says, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. And she also says, thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so I can see what is of the highest good. So it looks like Juliet is, you know, looks like she's pretty down. And then at the bottom, Joy is the ultimate creator. <laughs> All right, Aries, what a cool read. I'll put that song in the comments. You're supposed to listen to it. All right, peace out. If you like how I read, hit like and subscribe. You can join the Star Gang. We're just learning life lessons in kind of a fun and an interesting way. It's totally free. Uh, if you want to cruise my Etsy shop, that link is right in the description. All right, final one. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Mm -hmm. Peace out, loves. Bye-bye.